Today, we're checking out the Cobra electric scooter from Falcon PEV. It's stylish, comfortable, seated, and powerful. Let's check it out. I'm Ben from Authentech, and a huge thanks to those guys at Falcon for sponsoring today's video. Starting with a quick unboxing, it was shipped right to my front door, and honestly, not a lot of assembly required, which I appreciate. No one's got time for that. Unwrap and take everything out of the box. The only two major steps are A, to attach the handlebar stem to the body, just a few screws, and then again, it was nice they included all the tools needed. The other key step is to install the seat onto the platform and attach the plastic cover. That's basically it, easy peasy. Throw the scooter on the charger. I needed an adapter plug, keep that in mind. The power brake outputs at about 54 volts, two amps max, and they say to fully charge the battery, depending on which pack you get, will take around four to eight hours. Now consider these two things. They offer it multiple battery pack options, a seven, 10, or 12 amp hours version, and those offer some gnarly range. I received the 10 amp hours model and was able to go roughly 35 kilometers Kilometers, that's 21 miles before the battery percentage even dropped below 99%. Now sure, I don't think that battery percentage indicator is super precise, but to go that far on a single charge is pretty impressive and sweet. Your mileage will vary, but it's nice that they offer multiple battery pack options. They also offer two color options, black with titanium or black with silver. I received the titanium version and it looks pretty slick. Modern, comfortable, yet compact. Simplistic, yet functional. An electronic horn. Backlit LCD dashboard with speed, odometer, and more. Clean cable management, padded seat cushion adjustable rear suspension system, high quality kickstand, front and rear 160 millimeter disc brakes, nice and solid braking power, 12 and a half inch inflatable tires with great traction, integrated LED headlights, which by the way, just look super sweet when riding around, and they help light your path for nighttime riding. It's a nice safety and convenience feature. And then you gotta check out this awesome and hilarious feature. The e-scooter comes with not only a key for physical ignition, but also a remote control fob. So with the press of a button, you can lock and arm the security system. If anyone walks up and gets the sneaky idea of snatching your scooter, the alarm will sound, alerting everyone nearby, and it also locks up the rear motor, making it a much less desirable steal. I've gotta say this is a first for me in all the years of testing electric scooters. I kinda like it. And on that note, let's talk about the motor. In the rear wheel is a 48 volt, 250 watt brushless hub motor. They even state it can reach a peak of 500 watts of power. Now there's a few things to discuss. First, the top speed is limited at 15 and a half miles per hour or 25 kilometers an hour. This is definitely a compliance issue. Now on one hand, the speed isn't that bad. It's still pretty zippy, it's fast off the line, and it could definitely be a great commuter vehicle for a lot of people out there. Moving you from point A to point B in a lot faster time than walking, jogging, maybe even a taxi or other e-scooters out there. And let me say there's a lot of torque and power potential in that motor. We drove up some steep hills and cruised off-roading, and it conquered those just fine. Again, a lot of potential. I'm just a little bummed that it couldn't get a little bit faster in speed, say 20 miles per hour. It's not a deal breaker for a lot of people or young ones out there. 15 is a good mark. It's still plenty fast and it could be considered a nice built-in safety feature. Now moving on, they say it can carry a max suggested weight of 220 pounds or 100 kilograms. And speaking of weight, the scooter itself weighs around 44 pounds or 20 kilograms, depending on your battery model. So I've been riding the Cobra all around for a couple of weeks now, and it's been a lot of fun. It's very nimble, lightweight feeling with a tight cornering abilities. There's precision in the throttle for high or low speeds. It could be a great vehicle for the last mile or urban commuters or downtown grocery and errand runs. 
Again, lots of torque and power in that rear motor. The learning curve is super easy, just about anyone could hop on and drive. There's high enough ground clearance without scraping the bottom, yet comfortable riding platform for your feet, quick and easy to mount and dismount. There's been just a couple of small wishlist items I thought of throughout my testing. First, when we rode one-handed, the left handlebar was shaking a little bit, and I'm not sure if this is a simple alignment issue or maybe just a result of that asymmetrical front fork design. Thankfully, it's not bad at all, and you can't even feel it when both hands are on the handlebars. Secondly, I also initially had this wish idea of having a folding design. The concept of folding this e-scooter, tossing it into my car, taking it down to the park or city or long trails, go cruising for days sounds super fun, yet slightly impossible since it can't really fit inside my car. Well then I saw Cobra is purposefully and quote, unashamedly non-foldable. They say by removing this feature, it solves a lot of issues with folding scooters being worn out at that folding joint, and it reduces maintenance issues down the road. Well, I have to give it to them on this one as there's some merit to what they're talking about. A lot of my folding scooters over the years, they definitely loosen up right at that folding joint. And if only someone could invent the perfect folding solution, well then we'd have the best of both worlds. There you have it, that's the Cobra electric scooter from Falcon. If you wanna check it out, I'll give you all the links down below. They're offering you guys a coupon code, use Authentech at checkout, and you can get a free folding lock made out of steel. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure you stick around, and then show some love down below. Until next time, let's live Authentech.